Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist, we pray that, like Hannah in our first reading today, we are always able to say, God has heard me. God has listened to me. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, words, in what, what I, I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the, the angels, angels and saints, saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Hannah rose after a meal at Shiloh and presented herself before the Lord. At the time, Eli the priest was sitting on a chair near the doorpost of the Lord's temple. In her bitterness, she prayed to the Lord, weeping copiously, and she made a vow, promising, O Lord of hosts, if you look with pity on the misery of your handmaid, if you remember me and do not forget me, if you give your handmaid a male child, I will give him to the Lord for as long as he lives. Neither wine nor liquor shall he drink, and no razor shall ever touch his head. As she remained long at prayer before the Lord, Eli watched her mouth, for Hannah was praying silently. Though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli, thinking her drunk, said to her, How long will you make a drunken show of yourself? Sober up from your wine. It isn't that, my lord, Hannah answered. I am an unhappy woman. I have had neither wine nor liquor. I was only pouring out my troubles to the Lord. Do not think your handmaid a near do well. My prayer has been prompted by my deep sorrow and misery. Eli said, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She replied, I think kindly of your maidservant, and left. She went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and no longer appeared downcast. Early the next morning, they worshipped before the Lord, and then returned to their home in Ramah. When Elnaka had relations with his wife Hannah, the Lord remembered her. She conceived, and at the end of her term, bore a son, whom she called Samuel, since she had asked the Lord for him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering geared on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren, barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him, and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel today, our readings for today, speak to people who suffer in silence. I am sure at this time, there are many of us who suffer in silence. Maybe those who are in isolation right now. Mahirap ma-isolate. Hindi ko alam kung naranasan nyo na yan, no? Sometimes 10, 14 days or even more for those who have severe disease, to be isolated, alone, you suffer in silence. Sometimes you shed tears quietly by yourself. Sometimes you cry to God in silence, quietly by yourself, because you are isolated, you are sick, Sometimes you cry by yourself because you are misunderstood. Or sometimes because nobody listens to you or nobody can understand you. Our readings today talk to people who may suffer in silence. And the readings today assure us that even if We suffer alone, even if we cry quietly, shed tears quietly, God can hear us. God listens to us. In our first reading today from the first book of Samuel, we hear of the story of Hannah, the mother of Samuel, because she has no child. She went to the temple and silently, according to our first reading today, she was praying quietly. She was crying quietly at one corner of the temple. That is why when the priest, Eli, 
saw her. The priest said, Who is this drunken woman? Akala nung pari, lasing siya. Kasi umiiyak siyang mag-isa. Nagsasalita siyang mag-isa. She was misunderstood by the priest. But see, even if people misunderstood her, God listened to her quiet tears, to her silent cries. And eventually, God gave her a son. And she named her son Samuel. In Hebrew, the word Samuel means God has heard. God has listened. And true enough, even if her tears were quiet, even if her cries were silent, God has listened. We can see this also in our gospel reading today. When Jesus met in a synagogue, a man possessed with an unclean spirit, an evil spirit. This man was not quiet. He was shouting. He even shouted to Jesus. He said, what have you to do with us? Are you here to destroy us? But Jesus can hear that the one shouting was not the man. It was the evil spirit who was shouting. And beneath the shouting of the evil spirit, Jesus can listen to the silent cry of the man. Maybe telling Jesus, release me from this devil. Release me from this evil spirit. God can hear his silent cry beneath the shouts and the crying of the evil spirit. Naririnig tayo ni Jesus. Kahit na ang pagdarasal natin ay minsan tahimik lang sa sarili natin. Minsan umiiyak tayong mag-isa. Nag-iisip tayong mag-isa. Lumuluha kang mag-isa. Natatakot kang hindi ka maunawaan ng tao, minsan hindi mo rin nauunawaan ng sarili mo at umiiyak kang mag-isa, nagdarasal kang mag-isa. Huwag tayong mag-alala sapagkat sa ating mga pagbasa ngayong araw, nakita natin ang mga taong umiiyak ring mag-isa. Pero naririnig ni Jesus ang kanilang iyak kahit natahimik. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist, we are reminded by the Word of God today that beneath our quiet tears, beneath our silent cries, God listens to us. God has heard us. Amen. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through Him, let us pray with confidence. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies 
they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life, so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be freed from their physical and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the de faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in its fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow, my dear brothers and sisters, we are happy to announce that we will be visited by the pilgrim image of Our Lady of Guadalupe from the National Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Guadalupe, Makati. And tomorrow at 12.10 p.m., our noontime Mass, we will also be celebrating the monthly devotional Mass for Our Lady of Guadalupe sa National Shrine po sa Guadalupe, sa Makati, every 12th of the month no, ay pinagdiriwang bilang devotional Mass. 12th of the month, the 12th in the afternoon Mass. So, buwan-buwan ko yan. At ngayong buwan ko ng Enero, the first devotional Mass of Our Lady of Guadalupe will be celebrated here at the Manila Cathedral. And the pilgrim image of Our Lady will be visiting us tomorrow. And so we are inviting all of you for this devotional Mass to Our Lady of Guadalupe, our Queen of Life. We pray to her that she may continue to guide us, to grant us healing in the midst of sickness, to give us life in the midst of this crisis. Our Masses tomorrow, especially the devotional Mass, will be broadcasted live on the Facebook page of the Manila Cathedral and also on the pages of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, ina ng awa.